Hello, hello! In Tales of Iron, if you want to increase your max health, you need to gather ingredients for recipes from the chef. I'm going to show you where to go to get these. Reggie's brother, the chef, offered a fine menu. But after Dennis had eaten, there was no food left. Chef would need new supplies from the cellar if Reggie wanted a decent breakfast. Now these ingredients are pretty much spread out across the entire like world that you go through. But the first one is a gimme. You just go to the west side here, down into the basement or the cellar, and all the ingredients are there. You just run down and you're going to get your first ingredient for the first recipe and that's going to be the root. Pick that up and then run a little bit further down and you're going to talk to the bard here. And he's going to give you the berries. So once you get the berries, you just run a little bit further down, and there's your water. So the first one was kind of a gimme, just to get you kind of the hang of getting your recipes. So you just run back to the chef, sit down, and give him your ingredients. He had the ingredients. His brother, the chef, would make you a feast fit for kings. Now the chef had a new kitchen. He promised to finally feed Reggie like a king. No more stale cheese. The village shopkeepers might have the bread, milk, and mushrooms he wanted, if some rat would kindly fetch them. Now you grab this recipe after you repair the blacksmith. You just go to your throne room. Then you just go into Longtail Village and you pick up the some of the items. There's going to be bread. The shopkeeper will sell you the bread, and he's also going to sell you the mushrooms. If the king wanted milk, he'd have to go to the source, the farm. So as you're making your way towards the farm, you'll see your cow grub here, and he's kind of under attack by these mozzie flyers. Once you defeat the flyers, the farmer will come back and he'll grab his cow grub and he'll take him back to the farm, or take her back to the farm, rather. So you just follow the farm, or follow back to the farm, and he's gonna make you a freshly squeezed container of cow grub milk. So just run back on to your throne room, tell the chef he's going to go back to the kitchen, and you just give him your ingredients, and there's your second recipe. A juicy mushroom burger. Reggie felt healthier already. And as an aside, for this quest completion, you're going to get a piece of armor that has really nice frog resistance. For the third one, you need to go talk to this guy, grab a compass. Once you get the compass, you go and you talk to the ranger at the ranger lodge. The old rat was willing to part ways with his compass for the right price. This fine compass was ideal for a ranger tracking beasts in the wild. The ranger wanted to find fresh hunting grounds, but without a compass, he couldn't map them. The compass had guided the ranger to new hunting grounds. He gave his first kill to the king in gratitude. Next one's really easy. It's in the Forbidden Cribs in the burial chamber. And you just get your cheese on a pedestal. This cheese was unusually pungent. But perhaps Chef would be able to use this. The king was lucky. The woodcutter had just finished cutting the planks and was willing to strike a deal. So later on, you're going to get a quest from the farmer, another quest, and he's going to ask for wood planks and some paint. So you go and you talk to this woodcutter over here as you're going towards the deep mines, and you buy a piece of wood. And next you run up into Longtail Village, you go up into the shop, and you buy the paint. White paint from iridescent larva shells. A perfect finishing touch to any wooden construction. Now you go back to the farmer and you talk to him. You give him the 
two things that you just purchased, and he'll give you some honey. Grateful for the materials, the farmer could make honey again. He gifted the first batch to the king. And there's your third recipe. Just go back to the chef and increase your max health. Sickly sweet aromas filled the air. But you never knew roast grub leg could taste this good. So for the fourth one, this one is a little bit more difficult. You need to go out into the deep mines into this area right here. And that's going to be your first ingredient. It's going to be lettuce. It's, I don't know why, but it's hidden in a cave down over there. You got to fight your way through a little bit, but you can, uh, you just grab your lettuce from there. There it is. And your second ingredient is going to be in the arena pit. When you're in the mole town, you just talk to the vendor here, and this is where you also get your statue, the Statue of War, for, uh, for the burial chamber. Another statue? There must be a better place for it. But you can see here that you also have your canned meat, which is your second ingredient. Next one, you have to go on a little quest. You talk to a little mole man right around this area. I'll show you on the map where it is, just right there. You go talk to him, he's going to give you a quest to get some cooking oil. The mole held the award for crispiest fried crisp bugs, but his reserves of cooking oil were all gone. Whatever was lurking in the old sector had him too scared to collect more. Yep, so as it says, you go get some cooking oil, and that is located on the easternmost side of Mole Town. Right up here, you go take a little elevator up, and this is pretty much the spot where it is, right there. So you have to fight your way through, but you go get your little cooking oil there. Fresh cooking oil. Maybe now he could try the mole's fried crisp bugs. And then you just go back to the mole, the guy that you got the quest from, and he'll give you the crisp bugs. Fresh oil, the mole was able to fry his crisp bugs again. He cooked a batch for Reggie. The king made a note to ask the chef to put these on his menu. And there you go. Those are all for the recipes. So just go back to the chef and get yourself maximum health. A traditional mole town burger. It had an unusual texture, but it was hearty fare. So those are all the recipes. I hope it helped you out, and I'll see you next time.